Hey, this is a slightly different video to normal and just wanted to share the process to be able to install Comfy UI on an M1 or M2 powered Mac as I've just been through the process and there's a few hurdles to set up so you can make use of the amazing Comfy UI and all the power and customization it has available as you can create your custom workflows to make use of stable diffusion and all the different things um, out there to bring images and animation to life using AI. So I'm just gonna quickly run through the steps to show you how you can set up Comfy UI and start learning the platform. Here we go. Okay, so to start off with on your Mac, I've opened up a finder window and in the home directory, I'm gonna create a new folder called AI. And this is where we're gonna be setting up our Comfy UI, stable diffusion, adding any future models and things like that. And this is gonna be the base folder for any stable diffusion activity in the future and it's just a normal folder. I'm then going to open up Terminal on my Mac, which you can also find in the Utilities folder in your applications, and this allows you to interact with the core of your computer, run scripts, navigate folders, make changes, and it's really useful for running AI tools, particularly like Stable Diffusion, and there is an equivalent of this console, um, this terminal for Windows or Linux, but this is the Mac version. I'm gonna quickly share a few short codes that allow you to navigate around folders and files within terminal. So initially if you type in pwd and press enter it will list where you currently are located and I'm in the users john folder so my home folder. You can type in ls and it will list any folders within that folder so you can then choose to navigate onto those. You can type cd space forward slash and press enter and it will move to the root of your computer and you can type cd space and then grab a folder from Finder and just simply drag it over. So we could grab our new AI folder, drag it over, and it will give us the directory path here, and we can press enter, and it will move into that AI folder. So anything we run here is taking place within that AI folder, and then you can reference files there as well. Now, before we can install various scripts to get Comfy UI up and running, we need to have Homebrew installed on my Mac. So you can head to the brew.sh website, and you can copy the code here. Then hop back into terminal and paste that code and press enter. And that will request your password. Enter your password and press enter. And just press enter one more time and it will install the files for Homebrew. And without getting into the weeds of what Homebrew is, it's just a handy tool that's available for free that allows you to install other scripts and code on your computer, such as Python and PIP, PyTorch and other things. Okay, so then within 10 to 20 seconds, that's now fully installed, which is great. And you can check that it's working by going brew doctor and pressing enter and it's going to well in my instance it says command not found and if you look up here there is a little warning that homebrew is not in my path and if you move down it says next steps run this command in your terminal to add it to your path so i can copy the code here paste it here and press enter i can then write brew doctor again press enter it takes a second or two your system is ready to brew. So Homebrew is now up and running. Great. We then want to install Python version 3.11, as at the moment that's the latest version that works well with Comfy UI. So first of all, I'm gonna type Python 3 space dash dash version, just to see what version's currently installed on my computer. And I've got version 3.9.6. So we need to upgrade to 3.11. And we can do that using Homebrew by typing brew space install Python at 3.11 and pressing enter. And this takes a little while as it downloads the files for Python 3.11 and installs it to your computer. Okay, so that's now fully installed. And then we want to install pip, which may actually come with Python 3.11, I'm not sure, or it might already be installed on my system, but I'll show you the process anyway. And I'll include all this code in the video description below or via a URL link if it doesn't let me paste it. So to install pip, we're going to type pip3 install space dash dash upgrade space pip space setup tools. So that's going to install it. And if there is one there already, it's going to upgrade it. Press enter. Um, and it says already satisfied. It looks like it comes with 3.11 anyway. But if you need to go through that step, it's there if you need it. We then need to install PyTorch. Um, and we need to use the nightly version, so the most recent version, and that's based on what it says on the Comfy UI web page um, to be able to make use of the metal graphic support built into the latest Macs. 
And to get the code for this, I could include it below, but also if you head over to pytorch.org and go to the Get Started page, you can choose your setup. So there's a stable version, but we want the latest nightly version. We're on a Mac, we're using pip, Python, and it gives us the code we need here. So we can just copy that, jump back into terminal and paste, press go or enter. Um, and again, as I've already installed it, it's already there. And again, it might be coming with Python 3.11, I'm not sure, but that steps there if you need it. We then want to clone the GitHub, the repository for Comfy UI into our AI folder. So as you can see, I'm already in the AI folder here, which is great. And we're going to clone the latest repository. And to do that, I'm gonna write get clone and then this URL here, which I assume will be the most recent for a while yet, but um, it might change in the future. But we can copy that code and press paste, and press enter, and it will very quickly download a few files. And then if we bring up finder and look in our AI folder, we now have a comfy UI directory. And in there we have various files, including a requirements.txt file, which will list various dependencies that we need to make use of comfy UI. Now to run this file, we need to move into the comfy UI directory so that terminal can see that file. Down in terminal, type cd space, grab hold of that folder, drag it over and press enter. So it is now within that comfy UI folder and then write pip three space install dash r requirements.txt and press enter. And again, it looks like as I've done this before, it's already downloaded those various files, but that's a step you would go through and it would go through and download all those files from the internet so that they're locally available to run Comfy UI. And then jumping back into Finder in that Comfy UI folder, you will see there is a main.python file, main.py, and that's how we're going to run Comfy UI and open it up in our browser. So back in terminal, as a last step to start Comfy UI, we're going to write Python 3 main.py. But as I know I've got an earlier version of Python installed as well, I'm actually going to type in 3.11 so it knows the specific version of Python we want to use and press enter. And there we go, nice and quick, and it's given us a URL that we can copy. We can paste the URL up here, press enter, and there we are. We are now fully into Comfy UI and we can move nodes around and start the learning journey of figuring out how this all works. If you're interested in this, this is the process to go through and get it working on a M1 or M2 Mac. One last thing, if you do turn your computer off or you close your browser and you want to restart Comfy UI, again, just open up Terminal, if you can spell it, type CD space, drag in your Comfy UI folder so it moves to the correct directory and write out your code, Python 3 main.py or in my instance python 3.11 and press enter and again very quickly it will give you the url to open up comfy ui in your browser and when this all goes wrong as it inevitably might do for you depending on which versions of python are needed what's already installed on your computer things like that i highly recommend going over to chat gpt pasting in any error codes any code you're working with and it can help guide you through some of the steps to problem solve any issues you might face you could also go there and just type in, please help me install Homebrew, Python 3.11, PIP3, PyTorch Nightly, and Comfy UI on an M1 or M2 Mac. It will give you various bits of code to help you out. Okay, and that brings me to the end of the video. Hopefully this has been helpful. And if you are looking to set up Comfy UI using your M1 or M2 Mac, this process has helped make it a little bit clearer and hopefully you don't hit too many problems in the process and you're able to load up the interface and start learning how you can make cool AI imagery or animations using Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI. Lots and lots to learn. Um, if you're interested in videos like this and other intricate AI animation workflows, please press subscribe, like, check out the rest of the channel, come and say hello on the Discord. And if you are a creative making some cool AI driven animation, please head over to AIanimation.com where you can register for free and build a portfolio and potentially win client work in the future as the platform develops there as well. All right, thanks very much. Have an awesome day. Cheers.